All right, guys, I'm really excited to elaborate a little bit more on volume photography this month. Volume is something that has been huge to my business. Now, one of the misconceptions that a lot of people that I run into have is they say, well, what, if I keep the same name and do volume under my same name, won't that damage my brand? Or, you know, how does that work whenever people come to me and say, well, my kid goes to school at so-and-so and an 8x10 there was only $15. But when I come to your studio, an 8x10 is $80. What's the difference? And the way that you explain that, if you ever even encounter that problem, which I have never even encountered that problem, but that's a big fear that a lot of people have. But the way that you would encounter that, or the way that you would overcome that, is you would say, well, in a volume setting, I'm relying on dozens, if not hundreds of people. So I can afford to reduce the prices because it's just a 60 second shoot. It's bam, 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 one after another, one after another. And when you come to my studio, obviously, you're getting one-on-one -on -one time, and generally our session are about two hours of individualized time. So for me, coming up with a separate name for my volume business, it really just didn't make sense because I've worked for 10 years to create Blair Phillips Photography, to create such a good name in my community. I wanted to ride the coattails. I wanted to ride my own coattails. So when people in, in the school system, when they see, oh my gosh, Blair Phillips Photography is doing my kids' school pictures, I know they're gonna be good because I know the caliber of work that they do. So don't really worry about brand damaging effects or you know, creating separate names. And again, this is all based solely on my, on my experiences, but so far I've not had any issue with it and it has been great. All right, I'm gonna share with you now the easiest way. If you wanna start in volume, just say you get a little preschool. There's maybe 100 kids who go to this preschool. And you're thinking, how on earth do I keep up with everything? How do I keep it in order? How do I know who is who? It's really quite simple. This is basically one of my sports order forms. Kid gets it, they take it home. Parent picks out the package. Parent puts the money inside the envelope. They seal it up. This is what they bring to me the day of the shoot. And it's very simple. Kid walks up, they have their order form in hand. Just say that I'm the very, I'm the very first subject. I hand my order form to the photographer. I'm gonna write down a number one and I'm gonna circle it in the bottom left hand corner, okay? That way I know that the very first kid on this media card belongs to the name that's on this order form. Second kid walks up. I put number two, circle it. Take the kid's picture. That way I know that the second kid on the media card is this person. Or if you're really freaked out, you can even take a picture of this order form. Take a picture, write the number one, and photograph the subject. That way you have a picture recognition, you have a number recognition, and you have obviously a face recognition. So that's the easiest way if you want to start in volume, that's the easiest way to do it. Now let me say this, I've got a lot of really sophisticated things that I use through my lab. I use H&H &H Color Lab and their school and sports division is ridiculously awesome. So now when I go to a school, I have a little scanner that I wear around my neck. It's a little tiny scanner. Kid walks up, bloop. I scan his, media, his, uh, his camera card. I scan what package he ordered based off of his order form. And then whenever I get back to the studio, all we have to do is populate all the images in the software. And it already, it already knows what the kids have ordered. It's really like, it's like cheating without getting caught. I absolutely love it. So a lot of your work can be done, 75% of your work can be done the day of the shooting if you just pre-scan, pre-scan the package, you're almost done. Now I don't wanna to get too far ahead here. You can do post scanning as well. They also offer post scanning, meaning you basically, when the kid comes up to you, have, you have a camera card that's got a barcode with their name on it. You flip it over after you photographed them. When you get back to the studio, you pull that camera card out, you scan the name, scan what package, it's that easy. So it can be very overwhelming, but I'm telling you guys, there is a fortune to be made in volume photography and 
you can make volume still brand specific. You can bring your own style to the schools, to the dance studios, to the preschools. They don't have to be pictures that suck. Why not make them really good? Put your name on it and raise the bar in your community. That's exactly what I've done this past year with sports, for, sports photography in the high schools. I have set the new standard. And as a result, I've got every single high school in my county now, except for one. But he is going to really regret not choosing us for this year. All the other parents are going to, they're going to figure out what's going on. They're going to see everybody else's pictures. We'll have it next year. But listen, don't be afraid of volume. I'm a very boutique studio. I do obviously about 500 studio sessions per year, high end. But I still use my name and go into these schools. I photograph volume and I'm making a ton of money at it. So don't discredit it. Don't discredit it because it's forever changing. It's a big piece of the pie that you can get. It's a big vitamin shot for your business year round, year round. So check it out. See you guys.